My name is Mike Catrava. I'm the general manager of the Sarco Ray. The Sarco was established in 1899 as the American Smelting and Refining Company. Since that time, it has developed and evolved and is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Grupo Mexico. At this time, we were a fully integrated mining, smelting, and refining company. The Ray Mine, we mine primarily copper ore. We mine about 250,000 tons of raw material a day, and we produce about 100 million pounds of copper a year. There is no such thing as a typical day array, but it starts out with drilling, so we can identify which material has copper in it. Then we blast it, and then it's prepared for load and haul. Sulfide ore is hauled to the crusher where it's crushed and ground through the sag and ball mills. The leach ore that isn't suitable for milling is hauled to leach dumps where it's leached with dilute solution of sulfuric acid, and that solution is then processed through our SXEW facility to make copper cathodes. We've seen the uh, super stacker uh, advertised in magazines and other applications in other industries. Uh, we're familiar with what the uh, capabilities are and it did fit our needs. Uh, we just needed to know what the availability was and whether the component of the system would work for what we were trying to accomplish. So when we were designing the footprint of where we wanted the stacker and the conveyors to be placed, placing the conveyors was fairly simple, but trying to get a piece of equipment that could place the material in the back of trucks and allow for stockpiling was a challenge. The KPI JCI telescoping radial stacker was a perfect fit because it allowed us to extend the boom in and out with the stinger, to rotate the entire structure sideways to make a stockpile or hit the truck. And then it also had the capability of raising and lowering to hit different heights once we move forward with our second phase of the project, which is to place the material into a bin. So it was a perfect fit for what we were trying to do. Since we've started the full-time test and running of the uh, super stacker and conveyors, we've been able to remove about 500,000 tons of the uh, reject or recirculating material away from the sag mill circuit. Doing the math on it, it it's about three quarters of a million dollars that we saved so far, and that's over the last three months that we've been running the stacker. What we found is in the first month of full-time operation after we did a, an initial trial and an ex began an extended trial, we have basically paid for the equipment we have in place right now. Now that we're in the middle of the uh, long-term trial, we found the benefits are what we expected and even greater in some instances. Ray Mine has dealt with Ruder equipment on several projects uh, over the years, and for this particular project, uh, we contacted them to actually assist from the very beginning on evaluation and get their opinion as to what system might be best to accomplish what we were trying to accomplish. The service and support that we need and have received from Ruder Equipment has been a tremendous boost to us. Obviously we're a 24-7 operation, 365 days a year, so if this system, if the component of it should go down, we need support as quickly as possible. Ruder has been able to meet our needs and been keeping the system online and keeping it running for us. Along with the service and support, there's a responsibility on us to do preventative maintenance. And we have a uh, program developed in conjunction with Ruder and uh, KPI JCI to ensure that we get the best longevity out of the components in the system. Every second day, we have people doing preventative maintenance on the equipment, checking it out, making sure it's functioning properly, nothing's changing or starting to show signs of wear. Obviously, we would like to buy anything we could American-made as we're an American company. The fact that it's made in America is a tremendous boost to us. We're very happy, very pleased with the quality of the workmanship and the ability for the equipment to do the job we needed to do. So the recirculating load project started with a simple question, which was what would the net impact be on SAG throughput if we could remove the recirculating load from the SAG? With the help of Bruder Equipment and KPI JCI, We've put together a package that over the time of less than a month from kind of full trial implementation has paid for itself and then more. So a very, very successful project.